This video will be an introductory look at our Taurus long range radio transmitter, as well as demonstrating how to erase and pair the product. The Pro Taurus consists of a transmitter and a receiver. If we open up our receiver, we have our main supply coming in here from 110 to 240 volts going to our power supply unit. This in turn supplies our main receiver DIN rail module here. That is connected by a ribbon cable to our expansion output module, which gives me eight separate outputs. These outputs are driving these eight DIN rail mounted relays. Each of these relays gives you common, normally open and normally closed changeover contacts. If we take a look at the top of either of our enclosures, here we have our waterproof ice hockey puck style antenna with ground plane for excellent performance. The system is supplied ready paired. So if I take my transmitter and operate any of my switches, you can see my relevant relay switches will operate for me. So we're now going to go through how to erase and also pair this product in case you wish to add a second transmitter, for example. To erase the system, first find the pair button on our receiver located here and hold this button. The LED will light up, then after a few seconds begin to flash. You need to wait until the LED begins to double flash, which takes approximately 15 seconds. When it does, you can release the pair button and the receiver has now erased. You can see your receiver is erased as the green and red LEDs on all of your inputs and outputs will be flashing alternatively. So if we take a transmitter and operate any of the buttons, you can see the receiver will not activate any of its outputs. So to perform the pairing, I'm now going to pair switch one on our transmitter to output one on our receiver, switch two to output two, three to three, and so on. First, you need to select the output that needs to be paired. To do this, simply press the pair button on your receiver and repeat press to select your module. First, it will select the two relay modules on the receiver, then all of the outputs on my output module. Then it will step through individually through relay output one and two, and then cycle through the outputs on the output module. So selecting output one, the LED is flashing, showing it is now ready to pair with my receiver. I operate the transmitter once, pressing button one, and now button one on my transmitter is paired with output one on my receiver module. I repeat the process. So I press my pair button on my receiver and cycle through until I've reached output two. When the LED is flashing, I press button two on my transmitter and the button is now paired with output two. I press my pair button and cycle through to output three. I press button three. I press my pair button and cycle through to output four. I press button 4, pair button and through to output 5, I press button 5, output 6 to button 6, output 7, button 7, and finally output 8 and button 8. So now when I operate each of the buttons, my output will operate. Pressing a button sends a momentary reaction, meaning when I press a button on my transmitter, the paired output operates for as long as I hold the button. If you wish to change this operation to a latching mode, you have your jumper links here against each output. If I take off my jumper link here, these are shorting caps that short together the two pins. There's a pin for each output, so these are for outputs 1 and 2 for example. So if I put my shorting cap on the first output, that will now configure my first output to operate on a latching mode. So if I press and release the button paired to output one, the output will come on and stay on. It will stay on until I press the button paired with it once more, which will then turn the output off. For more information on our Taurus transmitters, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, or alternatively, check the datasheet.